So in order for me to actually explain a little bit more about this, I'm going to introduce you to Gary the Great and Brett, the evil red one, spoily cheese. Now Gary's story starts when he was just a little grape. And like all little grapes, the only thing Gary wanted to do is be the best one he could possibly be. Unfortunately for Gary, Brett, the evil red one, spoily cheese, the villain name written in Marcus Bruxellensis, had different plans for Gary. So while Gary was turning into wine, Brett thought this is the perfect opportunity to introduce himself. So he made wine his home and he started producing all sorts of off flavors that you really don't want in your wine. Now Gary didn't know what to do, so he went to the winemakers and the winemakers said, ah, we know exactly what to do. We're gonna add sulfur dioxide, commonly known as SO2. Now this is a poisonous compound that is used as a preservative in most food and drinks. But see, Brett is really smart. He's an evil mastermind. So he went from being Brett to Brett 3.0. And he did this actually by making small little changes to itself that allowed it to adapt and survive in the presence of this poisonous compound, SO2. Now Brett and the winemakers are starting to feel really desperate because not only did Gary end up in the grave, but the winemakers were starting to lose a lot of money. And this was not just the issue in South Africa, but worldwide. So they decided to go to the experts, the scientists. Now we as researchers were faced obviously with more than one issue here, but most importantly, it was the ability of Brett to survive in the presence of SO2. So we thought, how are we gonna solve this problem? And we decided maybe we we'll just take a couple of steps back and look at a bigger picture. And then we realized in order to actually do this, we had to come right down to the smallest little molecules and little building blocks called RNA that make up all living cells. And we realized that these little building blocks contain vast amounts of information. And we took these little blocks out of bread. The problem was they all scrambled about and we really couldn't understand what was going on. So we put them in a machine, a special one, and we did a bit of sequencing and out came these beautiful straight lines and patterns that we were now able to understand. So we went to see which of these little blocks we can actually identify as the problem enabling bread to survive on SO2. And now as researchers, we can try and take away these little blocks and making bread sensitive to this compound SO2. And this will be our ultimate weapon in our fight against bread, enabling us to, to try and save our red wine. So I'm encouraging all of you, my audience, and my winemakers, and even Brett, to join me in the fight and stand up for our right to have good wine. Hashtag Brett must fall.